This video will cover how to do in-text citations in APA style. It will answer three questions. What is a citation? How do I format a citation? And how many do I need? If you haven't already, it would be a good idea to watch part one and part two in the APA series on formatting and quoting before you go any further. Whether you're writing an argument, an analysis, or research paper in college, you will typically be asked to include outside sources as the basis for your writing. APA provides guidelines on how to incorporate that research into your paper and how to give authors credit for their work. You must include two elements when you reference outside research, citations in the text of the essay and a bibliography, or what's called a references page in APA, at the end of the essay. Formatting the references page will be covered in part four of this series. Before you get started, make sure that you have a handbook or website like the Purdue OWL ready as a reference. We will cover the basics in this video, but there are many kinds of sources that you will come across as you do research, some of which will not be covered here. Instead of just winging it or trying to memorize every possibility, just rely on a handbook or a credible website. What is a citation? A citation is a formal way of indicating to a reader where quoted or paraphrased information is coming from. You may have noticed these kinds of citations in the textbooks and articles you've read for class. In-text citations give a reader enough information to verify the research being included and find the source in the references page. Keep in mind that in-text citations are required for both quotes and for paraphrased information. In APA, an in-text citation can be in parentheses at the end of a sentence or in a signal phrase in the sentence itself. How do I format an in-text citation? Okay, so here we have some sample text that includes information from outside sources. I have put quotation marks around words that I'm using from my source. Now, the basic pieces needed to cite a direct quote are the author, the year, and the page number. This information can be included in two ways. The first way is to put everything in parentheses at the end of the sentence. Each piece would then be separated with a comma. And note too that you include a P dot before the page number. And the period to end the sentence goes after the parentheses. The second method, which is often the better option, is to use a signal phrase to cite the author's name in the sentence. If you use a signal phrase, you put the year the source was published in parentheses immediately after the name in the sentence, and then just the page number in parentheses at the end of the sentence. Note that you do not include first names when citing authors in APA. Now, if you are paraphrasing and not directly quoting, the same options apply, but with one exception. You omit the page number. Okay, simple enough, but there can be some complications. Let's look at a few of those. What if there is more than one author? How you cite multiple authors depends on how many there are. If there are two authors, you list both with the word and between them. If you cite them in the sentence, the and is spelled out. If you cite them in the parenthetical, you use an ampersand. If there are three to five authors, you need to name all of them the first time you reference the source. For every reference after that, you can just use the first author followed by et al, which is Latin for and others. If there are six or more authors, you only use the first author's name followed by et al every time you cite the source. So what if there is no author? 
This is fairly common with web sources, especially if you are citing government agencies or professional organizations. If no author is identified, you have two choices. You can use the organization in place of an author, or you can use the title of the source, either in a signal phrase or a parenthetical citation. Remember that titles of articles need quotation marks around them. Titles of books and longer works need to be italicized. What if there is no page number? This is also common with web sources. You have a couple of options if this arises. If the paragraphs are numbered, you can cite the paragraph by writing PARA dot and then the number. If the paragraphs are not numbered, then you can cite the appropriate heading and specify the paragraph under that heading. What if there is no date provided? Because APA is primarily used in the sciences, the date of cited information is more important than in other styles. So anytime there is a publication date, even with a web article, it should be included. If there is no date provided, you may actually want to rethink using the source, because it could be outdated. If you do need to use the source and feel it's credible though, you can put n.d. in place of the date to indicate that no date is available. How many citations do I need? Well, this is a bit of a trick question. The answer is that you need as many citations as you need. The rule of thumb is that every reference to information that you've obtained from an outside source, like a book, journal article, website, lecture, anything else, needs to be cited. Now, you might feel like that would mean that every sentence of a research paper would need to be cited. While research papers do contain many citations, you won't need a citation after every sentence. If all the information in a paragraph is coming from a single source, let's say, make sure to cite that source as soon as you start quoting or paraphrasing it. Then use transitions and signal phrases to indicate that you are still paraphrasing the same source. You can then end the paragraph with a parenthetical citation as a reminder to the reader that the information in that paragraph was primarily pulled from that source. Well, that should get you started. For more information on APA citations, check out the publication manual of the American Psychological Association's 6th edition, or the Purdue Online Writing Lab. Tutors in the Writing Center would also be happy to assist you further. Happy writing!